Okay, welcome to Academy Sports and Outdoors. Um, this one's down on uh, Research, or 183. Anyway, 26 miles, 40 minutes, 257 watt hours per mile. All right, so of course, um, well, let me start here. When I parked the car Sunday, it, it started receiving what it called a minor update. Um, see, 2023.32.9. FSD is still 11.4.4. And navigation data is still 1456-6-38. Okay, but I will tell you that there were some minor differences. Or, well, well, actually, the one difference, if it was a real difference, was a major difference to me. Um, most people wouldn't care, but um, it matters to me. Okay, so the Island Lake Boulevard stop sign. Yes, FSD reached out and grabbed it. Even though he just he had just seen a truck stop there and go, FSD said, oh, no, that's my stop sign. He always does. He, not always. He does it quite often. I don't know. Whatever. It's just a feature. It's a feature of FSD. <sighs> Peace and harmony. All right. So from an FSD perspective... He seemed somewhat tentative, turned on to uh, Loman Ford, but not as jerky as he has been in the past. I, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Now, we were late to a green light. So I had to press the accelerator to get him up to the line. And so maybe he wasn't quite prepared. Who knows? Okay. Um... Everything else, he did, he did on, on 1431 several times. Well, so the green, the light was green when we got to 1431, so right turn, no problem. Uh, first first uh, car to pass, uh, driver initiated. Um, he, he was just going slow. Now, granted, it's a 50 mile per hour zone at that point, but he's going like 20. <laughs> Okay, left turn single line. Let's go around him. So several of the cars, uh, FSD initiated the uh, the pass, and the driver initiated the switch back to the outside lane. Um, so all this is it's just just driving. So uh, for for Robo Taxi, yeah, this would have actually worked. Um, so coming up on the magical Tesla traffic light, it didn't display the message. Wow. Uh, it only slowed down. So there, there were, the cars that were behind me were way behind me. So I had space to allow Tesla funniness. Um, and and I, so I allowed it. Um, Anyway, so it didn't display the message. It only slowed down to 47 miles an hour. And it seemed like fairly quickly it resolved that it wasn't going to turn red and went. Now, I certainly hope this was the minor update we got. I mean, at least one of them. Although I would hate to think that anybody spent a lot of time working on this if they didn't work on uh, the other more significant problems. But this is the problem that affects me almost every drive. So for me personally, yay. Okay. Um, driving up to Cedar Park, just, uh, it's go slow, go slow day. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this. So there was a delivery van, you know, medium duty truck who passed me. FSD pops up, says, oh, FSD may be degraded why okay so the only theory I had was maybe a shadow from the truck but the truck was on my left side not my right side maybe we passed some trees at the same time so later on we passed some trees and that shadow although it didn't cause an immediate reaction it appears going through that shadow 
caused FSD to pop up say, oh, FSD may be degraded. Although at the time you pop up the message, we're in the sunshine. Come on, man. All right. So working with that theory, we passed another shadow cast by the trees. Yes, indeed. We got another. <gasps> FSD may be degraded. Because of a shadow? Are you serious? I mean, this is a new one to me. So that's the thing, right? The more you play with your software, the more you make stupid little minor changes, the more you impact other places in the code that you weren't planning to impact. Now, I, I don't know how it works with AI. I think AI is, is basically the same kind of theory where you make it, you make what should be a small change and it turns out to have a impact someplace else that is worse than the change. That's why you test. Yes. One of my favorite co-workers was the head tester. Ha <laughs> ha And her group was good. But her, her, the head tester, oh, she was really good at finding almost anything. I mean, man, management did not appreciate how good her and her group were. And I don't know, I mean, to, to be, be fair to you guys, yes, when I developed software, I had a hard time imagining why would somebody do that? And yet it turns out that's what they were doing. And they're, oh, there's a problem with the software. Oh, I can't use it. I have to go back to manual. Yes, that's back in the days when they had that option. Um, okay, whatever, peace and harmony. But anyway, that's why... When people talk about months of testing, that's why they do months of testing to find out where some stupid little change may show uh, impact you. Okay, so anyway, so it appears a new feature on Opare is if I go through a shadow on a bright and it is a beautiful day. I mean, there's all, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. I guess the one cloud in the sky is down towards Bastrop. Right? Everything else is clear. And it's 55 degrees. Is that warm? No, but it's not horribly cold either. So it's good. Um, whatever. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Um, I'd be curious to see if, th if this update shows up on, on Grandpa. Right? I mean, just... It'd be interesting to see them both the act. It'd be interesting to see FSD on both cars act the same way. But anyway, um, so going through shadows, uh oh, uh oh, oh, or at least on a bright, clear day. Because it's definitely not because of rain. There's no rain anywhere. Not in this general area. Not. I think you'd have to go down to Corpus or Brownsville. Right? Thank you. Um, although, uh, please feel free and feel free to bring back more rain anytime you can, because we definitely could use it. So, uh, where are we? We're on Bell. So, the the magical fifty mile per hour speed zone looks like it's like two hundred, maybe three hundred feet from the next forty five mile per hour speed zone sign. Yeah, that's that's something magical. That that makes sense. I I didn't see I didn't see the sign and and I was trying to look for it. But I'll admit that at the time I it popped up, I was looking at something else. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. It is, it is what it is. It, it it always is. Um. So coming up towards um. 183. There, there's a truck. Looks like he, he's freed himself up and he comes flying up. So I, I wanted to go left to get ready to go on to one, US 183, but this truck's coming up. So I, okay, I better wait for him to go by. Um, he's been waiting for, he's wait, been waiting to go around me anyway. So he comes flying up, but guess what he does? He moves over, he's going to turn left. So at almost the last second, 
left, I turn my left turn signal, try to move the car left, and uh, the car is creeping up slowly and leaves his turn, wheels turned to the right. So he doesn't straighten out his wheels as he's moving forward. I, I don't know why. So when, when the light turns green, we start rolling again. He does a little roll to the right before straightening out the wheels. <gasps> oh gosh, I thought I was going to wreck. Man, uh, anyway, whatever. I mean, it, I, I don't know why FST probably needed a little bit more room to straighten out his wheels and he didn't have it, too bad. Um, So we get up on 183, no big deal. Um, he wants to go to the middle lane, he, and he does. He goes to the middle lane. There, there goes one of those guys. That's what you do in Marble Falls. Um, let's try. So he moves to the middle lane, but you know what the problem is? Moving into the middle lane is. We're starting to get more traffic in this general area. It's going to be hard to get to the right to make your right to do your right exit. And sure enough, it, it is. So when I see an opening up on the outside lane, put my foot on the accelerator and move the car up some, so he can make his turn. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, whatever. Um, we're fine. We're cool. We make the exit. Now, navigation, for some reason, has us going into a right turn entrance that's two, three hundred feet from where we are. And we're on the exit. We're, we're going to be like, what, 75 feet away when we get out of the exit and we have to go over. Uh, that's not a reasonable to ask if there's any traffic. Uh, in this case... There's not really any traffic that's impeding us, but FSD is not prepared to make that turn. FSD looks at me like, I'm not going to do that. And I'm like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at FSD like, yeah, okay, I get it. I, I don't blame you. So, what can you do? Okay, break on FSD off, go down to the next street, and turn on the street. Now, Academy does border on that street as well. So they have a they have entrance on that street. Okay, FSD back on. FSD figures out where the entrance is to the parking lot. Pulls in. He drives up to just short of the front door and stops. Okay, I give a little accelerator and it starts making a turn, but it's kind of flaky because it doesn't have navigation in. So navigation turned out, turned off like 100 feet away from the door, 200 feet away from the door, whatever it is. Um, so he doesn't have navigation on, break on FC off, just drive to a parking space, which is where I am right now. So uh, for the most part, this is pretty good. Uh, there's a few places where, oh, I wish you did better. But hey, wait, go back to the magical Tesla traffic light. <gasps> it treated it appropriately. Okay, so other, other than the few little places where he's kind of slowing down when he doesn't like what he sees, and I don't know why he's doing that, and nothing wrong. And of course, the new feature of autopilot may be degraded cause of a shadow on the road. Oh no. But I mean, there are people who report, who have reported phantom braking. I think they'd still swear to it today. But, oh, look at that phantom braking. Okay. I mean, I don't think I've had any, any, any braking that I couldn't identify and understand in some way in a long time. I mean, although I'm telling you, yes, I get brakes, but I'm telling you also it's like, well, we're on 1431 and we're coming up to a curve. There's a car coming around that curve and FSD sees him directly in front of him. And I think that's why he's braking. Even though that car is in his own lane and he stays in his own, own lane, it's not an impact to us. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. There you go. Overall, pretty good. 
Uh, I think if I allowed FSD to figure it out, FSD would have figured out how to make it into the parking lot. I mean, it's just they're doing some construction work out there on the frontage road in the outside lane. And that's what threw FSD for a loop. But I think FSD would have been okay if I allowed him to run. I just didn't wait. I didn't want to wait for him to figure it out. Okay, there you go. Um, pretty good. Wow, okay, only two miles. <laughs> All right, eight minutes, 265 watt hours per mile. But it's only two miles, so what do you expect? Um, so most of it I drove without FSD on, but I figured I'd give FSD a chance to drive into the parking lot. And of course he did this time. There was no cars coming out, so good news there. Um, so he made his turn. It looked like he left enough room to, for a car to get in. I mean, for a car to get out. Um, he drove up the, the first private drive the, pretty good. It, when he got to close to the intersection with the second private drive, he was kind of tentative. Um, he, he normally, he cuts, he cuts the corner, so to speak. Uh, so he's not really treating it like as if it's a two lane road. And, and actually he needs to, he's treating it as a, as a, this is my private drive. I'm the only car here and that's the way it is. Okay. As, as we're coming up the second drive, there's a guy on the, talking on the phone and he steps out onto the road. I mean, he's hundred feet in front of us, but he steps out on the road in front of us. Uh, oh wait, no, there was a guy walking down. So the guy walking down, he's on the side of the road. FSD recognizes him, doesn't have to take any action because he's kind of left already. Although that, that may be why he was at left actually. And then coming up, there's a guy who's on his phone and he steps out into the private drive with a car coming at him. No, I'm not going to accuse him of being aware of where he is. Right? He's not looking. He's just talking on the phone with his hands waving in the air. Okay, yeah, whatever. Peace and harmony. Um, but the car is, is, is marked to come to a stop before we get to where he is. So uh, it's all fine. Um, brake on, FC off. And you know, I didn't, I didn't observe where navigation ended. Oops, sorry. Anyway, um, the, I come to 24 hour twi twice a week, so um, there will be other opportunities. Don't worry about it. Anyway, whatever. From a robo taxi perspective, where he dropped me off, although I didn't like how far away it was, but you know it works. So, and, and it seems pretty consistent with the other places I've observed so far. Is he he, sto he stops where. If you got out on the driver's side, you would walk in front of the car to get where you're going. Okay, so there you go. Okay, welcome back to Academy. Um, one mile, six minutes, <laughs> 376 watt hours per mile. Okay, but I mean, we just started up, right? Um, so I was at the traffic light on, uh, what is that, Duval? Um, and Jollyville. And the light's red. Okay. I mean, there's two cars in front of me. They did their right turns on red. And you can only turn right on red on this one, I think. Um, I think the lane is allowed to go straight if you want to go straight. But those apartments across the street. Anyway. Um, so I'm sitting here at the red. And uh, the car doesn't want to go. Give it a little accelerator. It don't want to go. Okay. Brake on us to you off turn right on the corner on that road and send the message saying we're allowed to turn right on red you know uh, come on man <sighs> whatever um okay so coming up to uh, academy we're on jollyville it's time to turn right he slows way down like to 15 miles an hour and i think it's a 40 zone oh my um just wanting to get hit, I guess. I don't know. Um, whatever, he does it. I mean, as long as you're okay with the car doing what he's supposed to do, it did it. And the same thing when it came, came time to turn into the parking lot, he did it. 
and just like earlier, um, he, he stops just short of the entrance. Okay. Um, and knowing that, uh, that he's not, he's not going to understand, he, he knows he, the next action is to turn right. He just doesn't understand what, it, what that right is. Right. So it, it's, uh, it's better to drive manually from that point. So from a robo taxi viewpoint, um, yes, we'll get here. Although I, I think it's a little scary. I mean, admittedly, the, the right turn on red, what, what, you don't like it? Okay. I mean, if you wait long enough, the light will turn green. You go, you turn right on green. It's just a question of waiting. Anyway, there you go. Okay. Boy, boy, what fun, huh? All right, 26 miles, 52 minutes, 230 watt hours per mile. Oh my goodness gracious. Um... So from Academy, tes Tesla initially, or navigation initially plans for us to go south to the next closest um, underpass and come then come back up. Um, knowing that we're right next to, I mean, you can go, you can go back to Jollyville and go up Jollyville and go across on was it Pavilion? I forget what the name of the street is. Um, whatever, we'll go across on that. All right, so that part's manual. Um, once navigation catches up to to my shortcut, which completely blows his mind, I think. Anyway, um, once FSD catches up, uh, FSD back on, and we're merging up onto the road. Uh, US 23. All right, so merging up on US-183, um, there's a long line of cars. Um, the other day, FSD impressed me because he said, you know, the best solution here is to slow down a little bit and let a car go by, and then I'll fit in behind him. Good strategy. That, w that was good. That was in Grandpa. We're in Opa Ray today. Remember, Opa Ray had, a, had an update uh, Sunday night. Um whatever i mean it's it, it is what it is minor minor fixes yeah they don't they don't tell you what the minor fixes are they just say oh by the way you have to follow the rules for running fsd okay whatever um so the ramp we're coming up on is the ramp where we gain the fourth lane on the highway that then turns off on the 45 or wherever it turns off to. Actually, maybe it turns off in the 620. Um, I, I don't remember for sure. I just remember it turns off somewhere and I don't think I've actually ever actually taken that ramp. Um, and all the years I've lived here, I don't think I've taken it. Anyway, so today FSD says, hey, you know what? This lane's open. I think I'll just cruise down it. And I can go faster and the cars to my left. Yeah, okay, but the cars to your left are, they're going to make that exit up there. You're not in the lane to make that exit. You're going to be exiting before then. So you're going to be completely off course. Okay, whatever. Um, fi finally, fi after a ways, I, I see that, yes, yeah, so if we speed up just a little bit, there's a space that is open that we can squeeze into. All right. Human driver accelerates the car. We get up to that opening, brake on SD off, move the car. Yes. Okay, now we're in. FSD back on. What does FSD say as soon as he realizes he's been moved? He says, oh, let, let's go left. Let's go into the middle lane? Is that what you're saying? Why would you go in the middle lane? Because then I won't be able to make my exit. California Road Rager, man. Okay, whatever. Nope. Uh, break on FD off. Cancel the turn signals. Clear, clear, clear everything up. Um, turn FSD back on. Why? Why FSD? Why? 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 
It must be California Road Rager just just making stupid mistakes or making stupid assumptions that you shouldn't make. Whatever it is, I don't care. It's it's wrong. Wrong, wrong, and wrong. Um, so anyway, because of the human driver, we're lined up in the proper lane. Uh, it's, it's like herding cats sometimes. Yes, that's what it's like to be a manager. But no, we don't want to do that. Oh, come on. And you already told the customer, dude, we're doing that. No, you lied. You're wrong. Yes. Such fun. Well, surely you miss it, right? Um, parts of it? Absolutely not. Whatever. Peace and harmony. Um, and of course, once we get down to the traffic light, uh, uh, FSD wants to shift over to the right. Why? I mean, we're not going to Bell, Bell Avenue, right? We're going to Lake Line. If you get over, if you get over to the right, you can't make the turn onto Bell, uh, onto Lake Line. And you're pretty much committed to going to Bell Avenue. So, anyway, FSD, he'll... I don't think he will ever get that. As many Teslas are in this town, and there must be at least a handful of cars in this area running FSD. That That is the intersection between uh, Research, Bell, and Lake Line. And Avery Ranch, not, not, to, not to forget them. Um, whatever. All right, so anyway... Um, since FSD insists on being interrupted, FSD stays off until we get up onto Lake Line, established on Lake Line. Okay, FSD back on, let FSD handle the stop and go traffic. Um, once or twice, he turned on his turn signal indicating he wanted to move over into the inside lane, except what's that? There's traffic there. So he had, he, he turned on turn signal, and had to cancel it. I sure hope this isn't Elon's idea of being safe. Oh my goodness gracious, come on. That's stupid. Okay, whatever. Um, after, 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 a, what, it's a four and a half mile trip up this road. So I think after two miles, we cross a major cross street and traffic start, starts then out to some extent, although there's still a fair number of cars here. But so a space opens up on the inside lane. Um, FSD has been slow to react, so brake on FSD off, move the car. Don't wait for FSD to figure out how to switch lanes. I mean, if it's his plan, he knows how to do it. But if it's your if, if it's your suggestion, he's going like, wait, uh, what? Uh, we we were all asleep. We don't know how to do that. Yeah, they're supposed to be awake the whole time. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. It, it is what it is. Um, okay, so we go we go up a few tenths of a mile away from. Turning left on the 1431. FSD sees a white SUV minivan, I don't, I don't remember which, that is coming across the the southbound side of Lake Line. Blatantly illegal. It shouldn't be doing that. So, I mean, to be fair to FSD, FSD breaks hard. Immediately. Brakes hard. As soon as he sees it, oh, okay. Brake on FSD off, miss it sent, but he's not going to run into us. Is he doing something wrong? Yes. And yeah, I guess you're right. We could just break and let somebody run into the back of us. That sounds thrilling, doesn't it? No, not really. Whatever, peace and harmony. It's just... 
it's just somebody else making a statement on behalf of the world population that the answer is FSD for everybody. Or RoboTaxi. That was, his, that was your intent, right? Your intent was to prove that we should go automated? No more people driving around in a personal control? Yeah. Firstly, I don't look forward to that day where I can no longer drive. I mean, I want to have that, I want that decision to be able to rest with me whether I let FSD drive or I drive for myself. But yes, the day is coming where even I will not have that choice. Okay, we'll see what happens. Anyway, since FSD has been interrupted and we're almost to the turn, human driver handles the, the turn. I mean, it's not FSD's fault. He's just doing what he's supposed to do. Uh, I, you can't slam FSD for that. Um, what what you really want to do is find out who's carrying the insurance on that vehicle and call that company. Right? That's what you want to. That's what I want to do. Okay. Whatever. Um, turn turn on the fourteen thirty one human control. Um, Let's try to get established before we turn on FSD, shall we? So we're driving up a ways. Uh, there's there's a Dodge Charger, whatever you call that car. Um, it's a police defender or something. I don't. I couldn't read the whole badge. But you, but he has one of those swivel lights up on the front, uh, just at the windshield. So you know you know it's an old police car. Um, at first I thought it was a police car, but when he turned up on Nameless Road, like, not, not a police car. Okay. I thought maybe it was a Jonestown cop, cop, because they have one that looks like that. Jonestown City, that is. Um, anyway, uh, after a while, oh, so I'm trying hard not to go too fast past this car, because he is, he is making, he's moving over to the right and slowing down. Like he's hoping you go past him. I mean, that's what cops do sometimes. Right? And I don't want to go past him. I mean, I don't. I, 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 it's what cops do. They drive around cars. There's little clues on the car that tells you it's a cop car. But it's not labeled as a cop car. It's not painted like a cop car. Oh, we're trying to catch beaters. How, by making things more dangerous? Yeah. Brilliant. Whatever, peace and harmony. Um, in the meantime, there there's a there's a pickup with one of those things with with a cross uh, M16s and some Greek letters, whatever that decal means. Um, no, I'm not not interested in what you had to say about yourself. Um, but if that's what you enjoy, that's what you enjoy. Um, whatever so um actually he he almost at one point he could have got in front of me without causing any issues and it would have been fine but no he waits until i'm passing him that's when he goes oh i'm gonna pass oh so then he gets mad at me okay fine the same to you bubba whatever peace and army not FSD's fault. All right, what well, is FSD's fault? And yes, absolutely, 100%. Nobody else to blame for this. This is FSD. And what's that? It's the magical Tesla traffic light. Yes, the message pops up. Absolutely. I don't wait around to see if he comes to a complete stop. I'm in traffic. I don't get why this is safe. It's safer than a human driver. That's not. The the games with the pickup, that's not. No, that's not safe. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, after that, so we, we come up on a pickup who, um, one of those guys who pays for gas, 
So, <gasps> come on. Have you ever considered maybe getting a sedan? You can get a sedan that, that uses gas. Yeah. I mean, my, my Volkswagen Jetta had, had a diesel, actually. Those you could still find. Right? So, hey, you can do that. Okay, he's not doing that. Okay, fine. Anyway, once he realizes that, oh, there's a Tesla that's going to pass him, and well, uh, oh, no, I have, I have enough gas to make it make it to where I'm going. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. You can't do the same thing I'm going to do. Well, actually, I'm at 53%, right? But I have a wall charger. I just plug in at home, right? Well, who knows? Maybe he has a gas tank. He runs a farm or something. He can fill up at home, yes. Whatever. Peace and army. Who cares? Um, so coming up on Destination Way, I don't get why FSD thinks this is a cool thing to do. I mean, it's done it sometimes in the past, but lately it's every time we're going by Destination Way going westbound. He has to go into that turn lane. Why? So when he comes to the end of it, so he can turn on his right turn signal and go back to normal lane. I don't know. It's stupid. And it's confusing. If you if you allow them to do it when there's traffic around you, they all go, what's he, uh, what's he, do? I mean, they assume you go in destination way. But when you come to the end of destination way, you turn right turn signal and go right. Um, it's like, what? Like I said before, that should be a clue to a cop that this person has a problem. Meaning, I'm the human driver in the car. They're not going to call up Tesla. They're going, like, oh, but who's responsible? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay, whatever, peace and army. Um, fine. So, as we're coming up to Loman Ford. Yeah. The traffic's backed up to where they're in the inside lane. Okay. Brake on, FST off, right turn signal. I mean, I look first, right? But right turn signal. Let's go around the, all these people. Now, the other day I was in this line, almost everybody that I was behind right there would make it. Right? Even, even, even I made it that day. That one day I had the patience, but I don't feel like waiting in this line. Let's go around. Besides, there's there's a there's a back way to get home. Let's use the back way to get home. Okay, so actually, it's not fair. FSD does come on later. Okay, so apparently, I mean, I have done this route before. FSD learned it. He paid attention. Navigation, that is, not FSD. Navigation paid attention to what I was doing. As I'm going through, I'm going, like, any time now, it's going to redirect me down Don Drive. And I don't want to go down Don Drive. I want to go straight. Um, and it doesn't. So I'm just going, like, wait a minute. So we come to a traffic circle. And we exit the traffic circle. Heading down, uh, what is it, Country Club? Country Club, yes. Okay, cool, awesome. FSD on. Okay, as, as we're cruising down by the, the golf club, clubhouse, all of a sudden, Turnson comes on. What? This is a line of houses. Where, where, where are you turning? I have no idea where he's turning. Oh, maybe, he, maybe there's a space to turn right? Possibly. I don't know why you'd go that way, but uh, maybe, maybe because I was looking left. I assumed left, and maybe he, maybe he was signaling right. Oh, I don't know why you would go that way, because it's just a roundabout way to get there. I mean, the way we're going right now is a straightest way. Okay, whatever. Um, so break on FST off, go down the road a little ways, FST back on. Okay. 
from this point on, FSD's on. Because he's following that. Wait, FSD's following navigation? Yeah, FSD's following navigation. And navigation hasn't nailed down. Impressive. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that that got stored somewhere. Okay. Now, because I'm being dumb. When we come down Santa Rosa, I want to see where FSD is going to take us. Well, what is FSD doing in Santa Rosa? He's finding the biggest potholes out there, including the very biggest one. Speaking of which, let's make sure we're holding pressure. Okay. He hits the deepest, biggest pothole on Santa Rosa between my house and American. <gasps> Yeah, I'm pretty sure in Grandpa, that'd be a flat tire. Come on, man. Okay, whatever. So, your question is for Ray. Well, you know, what's the grade today? So, the one place where FSD, uh, well, there's two places FSD let me down. The first place FSD let me down was at the magical Tesla traffic light. What did he say? Oh, look, look at those, that yellow, it's turning red. Oh, wait, what? But still, I think it's going to turn red. Yeah, he stopped. He, he's, and he was slowing down significantly, so he was planning to stop. Great. I love it. It's wonderful, isn't it? And then the, the second place is where, where was it? Ah, a destination way. Destination way, he, he failed to follow navigation. Of course, that's not the only place, but that's the place where he goes into the turn lane. Okay. Um, where was that? Oh, that's, that was down on, uh, around Jollyville somewhere. So, at the one school, they have a active school zone, but they hung the signs up by wires over the street. So the flashing yellows are up there, the signs are up there. If FSD even knew how to recognize a normal school zone sign, this would not fit that bill. So that that's that's one of those edge cases that it's going to take FST forever to figure out. Okay, maybe it won't take forever. Maybe by next summer they'll be thinking about it. But who else does that? I mean, I I've seen some places that do that, but it's pretty rare. Most time they have a sign post that has a sign on it with two flashing yellow lights. Okay, whatever. So, grades of C today, yeehaw.